Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a little happy teacup. Oh, I think it's super cute. Um, I did make a little saucer to go with it as well, but I'll put it in a separate tutorial because I think it'll make it too long if I put it all in the same one. So, And not everybody will want to make the little saucer. But it goes adorably perfect with the happy teapot. Perfect. But all these tutorials will be out, so bear with me. But we're going to make just the little teacup in this one. And this is a raspberry tea. But uh, band-wise, the white in here is 244. The pink for the drink is 50. And then there's 12 purple bands for the little trim on it. And then the eyes and the cheeks and the mouth. So super cute. We'll get started. And it isn't the same as my coffee cup too, just so I thought I'd point that out. But first we want to make the cheeks and the eyes. I'm going to again use a 9mm pony bead, so I'll put my um, bands through those later when we get to it. But if you don't have the beads, you can do two bands for the larger 9mm eyes, or you can do one band for the 7mm eyes. Either way, but put them on your hook, wrap them around once, then you'll grab all the bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands that are the color of your cup. Like so. So then you make two of these for the eyes. Cheeks are made the same way, just with one band on the hook, wrap around once to the figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands that are the color of your cup. Like that. Then you want two cheeks too. All right, so we'll get started here. One loom, wrong end towards me, and starting in the center with the color that is going to be your T. So the inside color here. We'll find the middle of the loom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Around the seventh pin, we'll do a starburst here. So two bands. And we'll go out from the center pin around to six pins. Like that. Then you want two bands in the center for a cap band, wrapped around three times. So one two, and three. Then go in through your cap band, grab the top two bands, pull them back towards themselves all the way around the center. We'll do a row all the way around, two bands. Oh, and we'll make the handle when we get to it. It's not very complicated, so it won't take very long. In case you're wondering, what about that? Just like that. Then you'll flip the bottom four all the way around. Your bands down. Then we're going to expand everything. So starting over here on the right, on this top one, I can just pick up the top two bands and bring them up a pin. There's no crossing right here, which is what we want. If I do that same thing down here, then the bands cross and we don't want that. So what you have to do when you see that that's going to happen is pick up all four bands, bring them out a pin, and then bring the top two back. So then there'll be no crossing here as well. Go to the other side, same thing, pick up all four, bring them out a pin, and then bring the top two back, and then down here, I can pick up the bottom two, or the, I can pick up the top two and bring them down, 
there'll be no crossing. And then the center pins, just pick up the top two bands, see where they're coming from. Mine are coming from the left side, so I'm going to bring them over to the left. And the other ones will go to the right. Like that. Same thing below. Just take them to the side that they're coming from. Then we'll do a row all the way around with two bands. I'm not a huge tea drinker. My husband does. You just get some fancy tea. And I kind of look at it and go, you want me to spend how much on tea? I, like, can't you just go with some, like, chamomile or Earl Grey or something? <laughs> but he enjoys it. So like that. Then you'll flip the bottom two bands all the way around. like so. Push those down and then get these out of the way. Now you're going to want your cup color. So I'm going to make my white pink this time. And we're going to puff out all of the pins. Do that by taking two bands, going in through the bands that are on the pin, pulling up two bands, through the center, put both ends on the hook, take off the bands that are on the pin, and then what's on your hook goes back onto that pin. And these you want to be the cup color. Though I suppose technically you could make it any color and it could end up being an accent on the cup as well, like I have the little purple, but they would be right around the eye row, so that's kind of up to you. But we just want to do this all the way around on every pin. I remember growing up, my mom would always make sun tea in the summer. She had a little jar with the flip lid and put it on the sun. I thought it tasted awful. She thought it was the greatest thing ever. But I suppose as a kid, I was like, this is not sweet and it's not Kool-Aid, which was unfortunately our main drink growing up, pretty much. But maybe that's why I'm not a big tea drinker now. You try one bad thing and you kind of associate it with all the other things in the same category and you're like, nope, not going to try it. So like that, they're all puffed. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a row around, but we're going to cross the row. So two bands, you'll put them on but then you'll cross them. And you'll do that all the way around. Like that. Push those down. And now, if you want to have the decorative edge, you don't necessarily have to, but if you want to, whatever color you're going to use for that, you want to take one band, and on every pin, you want to just put a cap band. So 
So wrap the band around one time. Make sure you push them all down. This is my new magic way of putting on cap bands in bulk. However, it takes a little bit of thought ahead of time of where I want them to actually be. Otherwise I end up in the very wrong spot. So like that. And what we're going to do is do a row all the way around, two bands, right on top of everything else. So when you put them on, just kind of take your time so that you're not catching anything. Put them right on top. So it's pretty easy when you put it on first, but then when you come up, just take your time to make sure you don't go past, like down so it's below the cap band. Just want it right on top, makes it easier when we hook or loom. It's kind of funny because I realized the other day that there are so many, I must talk about or text a lot about looming or write a lot about looming because almost every time that I try and do the word look it always corrects to loom so I'm always like yeah I want to go loom at that later and so it's kind of like a joke with everybody who gets texts from me so like that so now what we're gonna do so you're gonna go in and we're gonna flip the middle four bands which are the crossed row that we did so we'll leave the bottom four, which were the puffing that we did, and we had the middle row of the cross row, which is the one we're going to pull over, and then you still have the cap band and the top row that we just put on. So flip over the X row, and then go ahead and grab that cap band and flip it over as well. So this might take a little bit of time too, because you don't want to snag any of the puffing bands from before. But flip those over and then flip over your cap band. I think I grew up in a time when health was not really something that was very thought about, kind of like a time of excess and just eat it, drink it, it's all good. There wasn't a whole lot of thought of behind eating all the processed foods and sugary drinks. It was just, this is great, have some. Which is unfortunate because it's hard, it's a hard habit to break because your body craves those things that make you feel good. Still working on some things like soda. Soda is hard to give up. So like that, make sure that there's nothing connecting the T and the puffing bands to our top row right here. So I'm going to push those down. So now we're going to make our handle for our teacup so we can attach it to this row. But what it is is just 10 single bands doubled on the hook. So on the hook, wrap it around once, grab both, wrap it around again. Another band, wrap it around once, and then take it and pull through. So I'm counting this as two, so I need eight more. So double it, pull it through.
Okay, so that's 10. Then we want to pull through two bands, still a cup color. So you could technically make your handle a different color than your cup because we pull through two bands, the cup color right here. Then you go back through your cap band on the other end and pull through two more bands that are your cup color. So you wouldn't see, there wouldn't be any transition really. So that's our handle. So I'll set that down for a moment. So I'm going to do two bands all the way up the side. Handle will go up here and then two bands all the way down. Like that. When we get to here, we'll do the handle. I'm going to put the end on first that is where it's open, and then we'll do the cap band end later. Let's take that, stretch it on, and then two bands all the way back down. like that. And then once again we're going to go and we're going to flip the middle four. This time it should still be fairly easy to see because it's the bands that have the cap band wrapped around it. So those four are going to go over the top. Again, you want to go back and make sure that you haven't flipped over anything that you shouldn't have. Push those down. Next is going to be our eye row. So we're going to start down here with two bands. And we're going to flip over that side eventually. So when you get first two spots, next spot up will be an eye. And two bands, then the other eye, and then two bands around the rest. And the handle kind of goes towards the inside when you go by the end. like that. And once again, we'll flip over that middle four. Find that, flip it over the top. Earlier we were outside playing. I was sitting on the grass watching my kids and they were having a blast of course but I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I'm like I felt something on my neck I'm like oh something landed on me I go up to feel it and it's a June bug these bugs they are like giant beetles well I mean they're not giant but they're they seem giant they're like the size of a quarter little over, kind of ovally shape, brown, icky color, and it's like, go back and touch this and you're like, oh, what is this? Gross, it's huge, get it off me. So of course I scream, like the girl I am, and 
So now I feel like there's things crawling on me still. All right, so our next row is our cheek row, but if you'll notice, it's starting to get kind of squishy and tight on the inside here. So what you want to do is carefully kind of pull up the inside of the cup around. You don't want to kind of be, just be careful with your hook as you're, if you use that to pull anything up because you might end up kind of distorting the edge of the cup. Just kind of be gentle. So I'll pull it up a little bit. We'll probably do it again in a moment after the next row, but it's getting a little squishy. Like that. Next, like I said, is our cheek row, so you want your cheeks. So we'll do the exact same thing that we did last row, only put the cheeks where the eyes are. So two bands in the first two spots, and then a cheek. And then two bands. Cheek. And two bands around the rest. like so. So this time around I am still gonna flip the middle four first. It's not totally necessary but because um, we're going to flip over everything. But I still like to flip over the middle four and then flip over the puffing bands after that. I just kind of like them separated. don't know if it really makes a difference or not but it's worked so far for me. So flip over the middle four, or just flip over all bottom bands this time. So we only have the top four left on the loom. I finally get rid of this annoying row on the bottom. I used to think June books were cool because... Um, they only came out in my birth month. I'm a June birthday, so my birthday is coming soon. But it's like, so I was like, oh, there's special bugs for my for my birthday. And it seemed like when I was younger, they were always just like sitting places or um, not really doing a whole lot of anything. But it seems like now that I've gotten older, whenever I find them, it's because they're flying at me, just like. Full bore gonna hit me in the face or they're crawling on me or all these creepy things but I remember watching them as a kid. Okay, you pull up that middle again. Unhook the ends will help. Just want the cup to start kind of growing up. As we get a little bit farther we'll unhook the T color in the center as well. There we go. So we want to put the mouth on. So one band, whatever color your mouth is. I'm going to put it on my hook, wrap it around one time, and kind of double it, and then I'll take it off and hold it. And on the two pins between the cheeks here, I'm going to take my hook and go in through the left side first, pull up the bands, up through the bands, put it onto the pin, and pull it down. Then I'll go in through the right side, grab the mouth band, pull it up again, up over the pin, and pull it down and then pull it up over the top of the pins, like that. 
So we're going to do another row all the way around and this one we're going to attach the handle. So starting at the bottom here, two bands. All the way up the side. And then when you get to here, just grab those two bands that we pulled through the handle earlier. Put it on. And then two bands down the other side. Like that. Then flip over the bottom four. Kind of funny because I don't mind bugs until they annoy me. Like I used to think caterpillars are really cool too until I went on this field trip as a kid and this one of those fuzzy orange and brown ones had climbed into my shirt and so it was like I didn't notice it and I had went and um, gotten the bus to go home. I'm still wondering if maybe boys put it in my shirt because it was right around that time when Boys are lovely. So like this, I'll finish my story later. And now we're going to reduce. So on the right side here, we're going to reduce the third pin up. So you just want to grab the top two bands, see where they're coming from. Mine are coming from above, so I'm going to bring them to the opposite pin below. And I'll grab the other two, and they're going to go above. Then we'll come up to this last pin, or the top pin on the right side, grab the top two bands. They're coming from the left, so they're going to go over to the right. And then the other two will come over to the left. And on this side, we'll come down three pins. Same thing, pick them up, they're coming from below. So I'm going to bring them up, I'll bring the other two down. And then all the way down to the very beginning, grab the top two, they're coming from the left, so they'll go over to the right, and then the other two to the left. So like that. Now we're going to do a row all the way around, so two bands. And they do get stretchy in some spots. Long stretch. So a long stretch means that we will have a little fixing to do when we're done to get those tucked back in. More long stretch. So like that. So then you'll flip either the bottom four or the bottom six, depending if it has a reducing band on it. So be six, or maybe it's six on all of them. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have to be able to count. But my caterpillar friend, he, I went and sat on the bus to go home, and pretty soon I'm like, something started like, kind of burning and itching. And so I checked and it was my back, and I felt this mush. So I apparently squished the caterpillar in my shirt when I sat down on the bus. So there's this big goober spot on my shirt on my back. Plus it was burning. And I'm just like, what is going on? And there's like, I mean, I figured out what it was with the remains of the poor guy, but it was just like, this is not cool. You're all self-conscious about how you look. And here's this goober spot from this caterpillar thing that's burning. And yeah, no fun. I'm gonna pull up those T-bands underneath carefully. So there's the center cap band and then there's the bands that are wrapped around the pin. Just a little bit. Push your bands down. Then we're going to do another row all the way around. Two bands. Still a long stretch.
like that. Flip over the bottom four. Like so. So now what we're going to do is bring these closer just so it's easier because we're going to reduce again. So I'm just going to bring the two bottom right ones up and the two top left ones down a pin. Just so we aren't super stretched out even more than we already are. And just be careful as always make sure you get all the bands back on the pin before you take your hook out. I tell you, boys, when you're growing up, sometimes they're hard. I remember, I think it was my 8th grade promotion is what we called it instead of graduation. Oops, my T's still hooked. There. Push those down. So now we're going to reduce again. So we're going to start down here, the bottom right. I'll grab the top two bands. See where they're coming from and take them to the opposite pin. I want to get that on the inside of that pin. And take the other two bands and bring them to the other pin, other side. Then we're going to reduce this pin right here. The top two bands coming from above, so they're going to come below. And the other two will go above. And we'll go over to the other side and reduce this top one on the left. The top two bands are hiding. Yeah, these ones. Top two. Coming from below, so they're going to come over to the right. And again, trying to smush the guy over the pin. And the other two come over or come down. And then we lastly will reduce this one right here in the middle. Top two coming from below, so they're going to go above. And the bottom two, we're going to go below. So now we're on four pins. Show my T bands are unhooked from the below. Push those down. We'll do a row all the way around. Two bands. But yes, my eighth grade promotion, we were doing a practice and the boys behind me and one of them I still happen to have a crush on of course they had um, I think they were flirting with me but then you're gonna flip the bottom eight yes the two reducing bands from each side and then the bottom four so four reducing bands on each pin sorry makes more sense but they were um, we were practicing, like, sitting and getting our names called and stuff to go up and get our little certificate. And one of the boys behind me thought it was hilarious to tie the strings from my dress to my chair. So that as I got up to go, I guess, pretend to get my award thingy, you know, I can feel like my little tug at the back of my dress as my strings are tied to it. And I'm like, uh, no, this isn't okay. So it's like I turn around and I'm like, what are you doing? Boys. Alright, so now we're here. So now we're ready to take him off, or her off. So we'll go in through each 
set of bands on the four pins that are left carefully with the last one because it'll want to pop off until you get all four on your hook. Then take two bands, pull it through, both ends on the hook, slip knot, and I kind of smush the bottom a little bit so I get the bands closer to the position I want them to be in. Pull tight, then we have to hide the tail. In there. Yeah, I know. You popped back out, didn't you? We'll fix that in a second. But we did, like I said, we had the long stretch bands in here, so you're going to have to go and kind of release some of them or stretch them out the way they're supposed to be. Not a huge deal, but just have to adjust some of those. So you want the bottom of the cup to be kind of like rounded, but not flat. Like so. T anyone? Then you can go around and kind of adjust out your cap bands if you need to. You can't really see them on the inside, although if you like twist it around you can see them. But So it's kind of cool. They hide themselves on the inside. I just pull them out so that you can see a little decorative edge all the way around. I think I should have done purple cheeks. Super cute. To fix you. It's always one band. There we go. Super cute. Do, do, do. Adorable. They're so cute. Like I said, these are even tinier than my coffee cups, so they're perfect. So I hope that you like the little happy teacup. I keep calling it little happy, but it's the happy teacup, I guess. So, but definitely, if you're going to make these, don't forget to check out the teapot to have with your tea. But I hope that you enjoyed this. If you make some of these or make a little tea set, I would love to see them on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or my Facebook, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. They both should find me. There are links underneath the video. And then, of course, it'd be fabulous if you would subscribe to my channel. That way you know when I come out with new things. And um, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool to see the numbers go up. It's amazing. So definitely uh, all the result of you guys liking what I do. So, But thank you very much. And I will definitely have more things for you soon. Happy looming.